Hey nail babes, it's your girl Taylor and I'm back again with another nail video. I know it's been a minute and that's because we just moved. We just got a new apartment. Don't worry, I'm going to insert a little clip so you can see it. I am so excited. This is the happiest I've been in a long time. This nail video is going to have two parts because this first part is going to be application. I got a few comments from the girlies who love application videos. So this first part is just me prepping these little, little crusty nails. I couldn't have no nails on while I was moving. So I'm just doing my little nail prep and I sped up the nail prep just a little bit. Um, so it wouldn't take up too much of the video. And then the application portion, I left in real time. No lie, it took me only 30 minutes to do the entire application for my hand. Like, I don't know if it was because it was all one color, but girl, I flew through this application, um, my bad, application. And my boyfriend started rushing me on like the last three fingers. So you're going <laughs> to be able to see that too. But I, I really uh, shocked myself. Okay, 30 minutes, girl, what? But girl, so let me tell you, let me tell you, I, we've been living in my old apartment for like three years, like going on three years. That was our first apartment together and I hated it. Listen, the first day I got in the apartment, I cried. Like I broke out, no lie, I broke down into tears. Maybe it was just because it was new for me. It was a big adjustment. When you, what you mean? I'm used to being in my mama house and other people house. <laughs> but it was just a big switch for me. And when I got in there, I don't really know what it is. That just made me break down crying, but... I didn't like it. <laughs> Maybe that was what it was. I didn't like the apartment. I never liked it since we first got there. But granted, it did serve its purpose. And we were so happy to have our own. So it didn't really even matter to us much. I started to get used to it. But it was just too many things wrong with the apartment. Down, babe. I'm sorry. Sorry, that's my dog. I'm trying to keep him off the bed now. We have had him in the bed for too long. Too, too long. Yeah, he had his first birthday not too long ago, so he, he he's a big boy now. And um, yeah, I'm trying to train him to to lay in his own bed. Good boy. I love my fur baby, but his hair just be all over the place. Back to this apartment, girl. <laughs> we moved in on Friday. We moved in on Friday the twelfth and. Man, when I tell you this apartment is more than I could, like, ask for, like, for the, like, this, it's like a, it's a two-bedroom, one-bathroom, and it has a den, and the apartment we came from was two-bedroom, one-bathroom, but it was really small in comparison. Like, the ceilings were higher, but this one is more spacious, like, we got the like a big living room. I'm gonna just show you. I'm gonna show you. But um and it also comes with amenities. Like we didn't have nothing at the last place. We didn't even have a washer and dryer. Like that's that's the part that really bugged me because I didn't realize like when we were trying to move, we tried to we moved into our first apartment during COVID. So during COVID, we pretty much had to take what we could get. And that was the only place that we that was like actually available to move into. So of course we went ahead and got it. But we were just so disappointed because it was certain things that was just lacking. And I didn't know enough about what we should be looking for for a first apartment. But I learned my lesson because living there for three years, I realized like, okay, now I know what to look for. Definitely have a washer and dryer in your apartment because traveling and carrying clothes back and forth is a no like it's a no for me but this apartment has everything it got the washer and dryer it got the we have a pool area a grilling area we got a patio in the apartment and then they also have a gym a lounge area a game room like it let's just go it just get better and better like i really just love this apartment 
the only thing is now like i'm in a i'm in another area so at first i was in baltimore maryland and now i'm in randallstown maryland so i'm excited to see what the difference is going to be living up here and um i'm trying to get more creative with um gaining a clientele like so i already have like my my um what's it called i've been doing nails for like three three or f maybe no it's like three years maybe three and a half now i think and actually no it's probably like it's probably like, yeah, it's probably like three and a half because I started when the pandemic first started and that was almost, that was about four years ago. But I started like six months after the pandemic first started. So yeah, um, like three and a half really years ready. going on four now. Mm-hmm. Oh. Isn't that spicy? Yeah, I just... Um, so I still, I already have my, my steady clientele. Um, but it's not like that big. Like my clientele is not like crazy or nothing. Like it's like, um, I, I would say average, like I would say average. Um, and I think that's because I don't really do any, like before when I first started building my clientele, I had an actual job. So when I had a job, People saw my nails every single day. Like, I always had nails on. In my job, I got other people getting their nails done and stuff like that. So, I had walking, talking advertisements for nails. Like, if that makes sense. Like, I had everybody in my job wearing nails. Everybody that was a cashier was wearing my nails, right? So, there's been a transition in from me working to, to just strictly being home-based and only doing nails. So, I think that that played a role in my clientele becoming less new. Like, I only have, like, my OG nail clients. Like, I haven't gained new clientele except for over social media. So that's one thing that I do know that I have to change about myself. I have to get outside more. Like, so if you're a beginner nail tech or you're do like you're just starting off, um, word of mouth is going to be your best friend because I got majority of my clientele from word of mouth. Like everybody like that I did nails for will refer me to other people and that kept my clientele base steady. It's become less steady over time because I got kind of complacent once I started doing nails from home. So one thing you need to know about like social media is that it doesn't matter how many followers or stuff like it doesn't matter how many followers and likes you get. Um, that does not equate to customers. Like if that makes sense, like sure you can get clients you you can gain new clientele from posting your business and from posting your nails or, or whatever it is that you do but there's not a guarantee that everybody that sees your work is even going to be able to get to you there's there's so many times that i've had people say oh you're so far away from me so there's always people like that live in other places that are seeing your content. So that's not going to always equal customers in real life. Like unless you offer another service, like I offer press on nails, um, um, like acrylic and poly gel press ons now. Um, I'm sorry for so many ums. I don't know why I talk like that. Whatever. <laughs> but if you sell like a product, then yes, you will be able to ship to people uh, because I do get some people who have jobs where they can't wear long nails. So they'll hit me up for press ons and stuff like that. But that's just a little a little food for thought. I definitely I'm trying to figure out like different ways to advertise. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to get out this house. <laughs> But I'm loving it so far. I don't even want to leave. I don't even want to leave. Ah, I don't want to leave. But it's okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna at least. 
I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a different nail set every week or every two weeks. And I'm just going to go outside. Like, I'm just going to go outside. I'm going to explore this area. I'm going to hand out my business cards. So that's my first, that's like my first thing. I'm not really sure if this is a good idea. Y'all can let me know if you think this is a good idea or not. But I was going to like take my business cards to everybody's door <laughs> in this apartment. I don't know if that's a good idea or not because I don't want nobody to be like, who the f is this? And why are they at my door? Why are they putting stuff on my car? Like, what? <laughs> do you think people would mind? Like, do you think that's okay or not? Like, would you be mad if somebody just walked around sticking stuff to your property? Like, I don't know, girl. That was just one time. I'll, I'll figure it out. But definitely, if you got like this, if you have any advertisement strategies that you like to use that work for you, drop them in the comments. Let me know, girl. Let me know what to do, honey. Okay, so back with these nails. As you can see, I've always started, I mean, already started with this acrylic application. And my goal is to always, like, I just try to lay my acrylic as neatly as possible so that I don't have to worry about filing much. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to see what the structure of the nails are looking like. And I actually wore this, I actually wore these nails outside without filing or shaping them or anything because this is going to be a two part video. But they looked good enough to wear outside. I mean, yes, I only had one nail, I mean, one hand done. So I was looking crazy, but. My boyfriend was, we, we've gone to the gym every single day since we've got here. And so he was, you know, get, rushing home to get his friends so we could go to the gym. So he had me hurry up with this nail set. So I didn't have time to even film the filing shaping portion this day. So I'll definitely make that the next video. And the next video is going to be shaping for you know a standard taper square and it's going to be mm, i'm thinking i'm not really sure yet if i'm going to keep these nails square like this but if i don't either way you'll see it in the next video and i'll also include the designs because you know of course i gotta I got to I got to I got to do a little freestyle on these nails cuz these are permanent this time. This is not um a pop off set. So first things first, I'm taking I'm using a rather large acrylic brush. I think this is a number 16. It's not the biggest, but it's it's pretty big. If you if you are a person who likes longer nails, a larger brush would work best for you. This brush is from Kiara Sky, and because of its size, it allows me to be able to pick up, well, to it allows more monomer to be absorbed. Ah, ah, babe, toy, come here, please. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Sit, sit. Good boy. Okay, so, I'm sorry. This, it allows more monomer to be absorbed into the brush which which in turn allows you to pick up larger beads of acrylic now as you can see this acrylic this was just something that i just mixed up it was just like some pink acrylic and some clear so the what what what, what do you call it the 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 texture of the acrylic is different than it would have been had i left the acrylic the way it came so it was a little different picking up the beads for this before right like you know your your basic acrylic like it's gonna work the same um i also i'm not a person who changes out my monomer unless i absolutely have to so <laughs> your bigger like the the fresher the monomer the bigger your beads are gonna come out but i just um yeah, I was only doing these five fingers, all one solid color. So I didn't change it out until I got like to the last two fingers. So I'm sitting here picking up these beads. 
And I'm only picking up beads that are like a large enough size for the part of the nail that I'm doing. So I start off with the largest bead at the bottom and just cover the tip. And then my second bead is going to be like my apex bead. The third bead is my cuticle bead that I'm doing right now. And then my last and final bead is going to be a rather large bead because these nails are long. And that bead is going to be right where you see that indentation in the side of the nail. So that bead is going right in the middle to fill the gap and to build the structure of the nails. Hopefully I was able to explain that in a way that you can understand. But if not, then just feel free to go ahead and watch the application portion because you'll, you'll pretty much see what I'm talking about. It's so funny to me in the backgrounds of most of my videos, my boyfriend always doing something. Either he playing a game or he talking to toy or he just or making music or singing in the shower. He always doing something. But look at how this application coming out, girl. You see it? As you can see, that finger came out super, super smooth. And I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the fingers. I wasn't. I didn't know y'all was ready. I'm about to take a shower real quick. Okay, I'll be, I'll try to make sure I'm ready by the time um you get I'm out. To, I'm about to take a ten minute shower real quick. <laughs> well, you know I can't do anything with that. I I'm. I got like two more fingers left to put on after this one. Oh, you want me to just come back and get you them? You feel like it? Yeah, I'll do that. Can you, okay. can you make sure you dress up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am still about to take a shower. Bro. Okay, well, I'm going to see how fast I can, I'm going to time myself real quick and see if I can do a 10 minute two, two fingers. Okay, so this is where it starts to get a little crazy because my Russian brain, I start just throwing on acrylic on top of acrylic. Okay, so why am I sitting here trying to put a second bead before the first bead is finished? This is why you do not rush. Like, this is the crazy stuff that I do when I start rushing. Mm, mm, mm. A damn shame. Anyways, I'm just trying to work with it. I don't know what I was doing, but I just started trying to move real extra fast and wasn't really moving fast at all. But it was just all it was doing was just messing up the nail. <laughs> Look at that. What is that? girl anyway i eventually got it together i decided that slow and steady wins the race okay and it actually wasn't even that slow because again it only took me 30 minutes so i don't know why i was rushing i was doing a good job that's just what happened when you let when you let your brain start playing tricks on you there was a little piece of glitter bothering me here like i just could not get it out for anything I was finally able to get it out, but I had to take my um, cuticle pusher and start digging at the nail. So because I had to dig at the nail so much, I had to go in and add a larger, um, what's it called, apex um, bead at the end. And I was able to cover up the gap, or like fill in the gap. So you'll be able to see me do that in just a second.
So at this point, this little glitter has thoroughly annoyed me. So I just get to digging at the <laughs> at the acrylic, trying to get it out. I finally was able to get it out. And I'm just gonna walk you over the, the process of how, how I um, was able to fix the nail now that it's ruined. <laughs> so the good thing is I haven't done my apex bead yet. So I'm gonna go in for that bead now. I'm gonna dry off the bead, place it right where the gap is and what I'm trying to fill. Once I've placed that bead, I'm gonna even out the bead and begin to drag up the top of the bead to blend it in with the cuticle area. Then I'm going to pat it in place and use my brush, the belly of the brush, to start swiping down at the bottom of the bead. I'm not going to swipe the center of the bead because I don't want to remove what the, um, the acrylic. I don't want to move the acrylic around too much because it won't fill in the gap. So as you can see by doing it this way, I was able to cover the gap and fix the nail and now it looks pretty good. So I do see like a little line of demarcation at the tip of the nail. So I'm just gonna take a smaller bead and fill that in. Okay, we're looking good now. On to the next finger. As you can see, my monomer is pretty much gone. So this is the time that I go ahead and I refill my monomer. I don't refill it unless I get color in there or I um or unless it like runs low, completely low. Because again, if it gets too low, you won't be able to pick up the beads properly. Okay, so for the thumb, I'm gonna grab a super, super big bead, as big as I can grab it, and I'm gonna go ahead and place that right at the tip of the nail. I like to fold in my acrylic as soon as I place it to keep it everything level and right on top of the nail. You don't want it to spill onto the underside of the nail because then that's just a, a mess to try to, or a hassle to try to clean up at the end. You're gonna have to drill it off and nobody got time for that. <laughs> I was trying to hurry up so bad. Like I was trying to I was trying to see if I could do it super super fast before he got out the shower, but that did not happen. It wasn't 10 minutes. That was actually like seven minutes, but I was not done yet. <laughs> so he ended up having to go get his friend and then come back and get me. Cause I was still doing this thumb and I wanted to make sure I got this pinky on because I wasn't about to go in the gym and touch no type of equipment without at least my nails being on and dry, okay? The gym closes at 11 over here, but the good thing is if somebody's in there, they can let you in. Bow, bow, bow. So at this point, I'm racing against the clock. I'm racing against the clock because we gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. So I'm taking my next bead. Remember, this is the second bead that is going to be the apex bead. So I'm just basically making a little bump. I'm making a little bump where the tip meets the natural nail. And then I'm just gonna swipe that down and move on to the cuticle area bead. I don't play around with this bead too much. I pretty much just place it. I make sure that it's fitting sidewall to sidewall. And then I'm gonna bring it down at the bottom. Not too much, not too much. At this point, I was starting to get excited because I had realized that 
it had only been like 20 something minutes going on like 30 minutes and i was pretty much done this entire application even though i had a little bump in the roll with that little pesky glitter i still managed to get this acrylic application done in about 30 minutes so woohoo big ups for that one that was probably the fastest I ever did one of my hands <laughs> because I usually do so much with the acrylic. Like I'm usually doing designs and stuff, but this time it was just a plain full set. So this, this, this was, this was fast. This was fast and easy. Okay. So this part, that's just my cuticle bead. I just picked up a large enough bead, um, for that little space. And I just went ahead and filled in the cuticle area. And then, of course, my last bead is going to be me adding structure to the nail with my apex bead. So, basically, to figure out where I want the apex bead to go, I'm just going to look at my nail from the side. And that's where I'll determine where I want to place my last bead. And I'm just taking a, like a medium large size bead, not quite as big as the first bead and not quite as small as the cuticle area bead. But like a nice in the middle and i'm just gonna use that to fill in the gap of the nail and that's where the apex area is gonna be for me Now moving on to this little pinky. So the pinky is always, the pinky is just in such like um, a weird area for me. Like even when like, like application is weird. Um, and so is filing for me for the pinky. So I just hold my hand in a position where I'm able to see the nail like if you'll you'll be able to tell like i just kind of raise my hand towards my face so that i can see the whole pinky to make sure that nothing's like falling off the side and to make sure that i'm actually getting the acrylic sidewall to sidewall so i'm placing my bead and then i'm gonna be of course bringing like the acrylic over into the middle that's the first thing that i do I like to bring the acrylic to the middle so that I have control over where the acrylic is going. And I'm just gonna bring that all the way down to the tip of the nail and then proceed to the next bead. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So no one else do. That's why I'm fine. Spend my life with you. I won't teach you anywhere I can. I won't share my world. Don't you understand? Your love is a one in a 
Turn me inside out, out, make my heart beat. Leave no one else. You're all I need. Personality, everything you do makes me love everything about you. just like that look at how this application is looking can't really put my pinky down just yet because it's still a little bit wet but i'm just gonna go ahead and let this dry and then i'm gonna let you see the final result but girl do you see these ah! yes i wore them outside like this i told you already yeah i wore them right on outside like that because <laughs> Yeah, I ain't have time for no shaping or nothing. His friend literally only lives around the corner from us. Like, he's in this apartment, like, area. Like, he just, he lives in the same apartment. So he's just around the corner. Looky, looky. Look at how cute. How cute. And I just love that I do not have much to file. So, that is how I do my application. Pretty much always. But if I didn't in the past, this is how I'm going to be doing it from now on for this style of nail. And that's all for today. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.